where do I begin to answer this question? Is Meghan Markle the discredited face of woke America? Well, I suppose one starts with the fact that the question was asked on Sky News Australia, which is owned by Rupert Murdoch and which has about as much credibility as Murdoch's U.S. right-wing conspiracy-peddling fact-free Fox News. That said, to pose the idea that Meghan Markle is the discredited face of woke America is just so confused and malign, just such typical Fox News Rupert Murdoch bullshit. First, let's acknowledge what Sky News got right. Megan is discredited. From forcing the Archbishop of Canterbury to debunk her claim that she and Harry got married three days before their public ceremony, to the fantasy that she was chased around New York City at high speed for two hours by rabid paparazzi, Megan's lies have become legendary. And that said, the rest of the phrase just makes no sense at all. The word woke is, in this context, being completely misused. I've done a whole video on what the word means in context and the genesis of this meeting, and I'll link it here and in the description below, but in a nutshell, woke has a century-long history in the black community as a warning to stay alert to the real and present dangers of living in a racist society. The way the far right wing is using the word these days, however, as a catch-all term for what they perceive as the sins of the left is at best, incorrect and lazy. Look, I'm a proud lefty, and for me the word corrupt could well be used to sum up what I think of the politicians on the far right of the spectrum. The crimes of Donald Trump and Clarence Thomas, Steve Bannon and Mark Meadows, and smaller fry like that Texas AG Ken Paxton leave little room for doubt that a whole swath of them are, indeed, corrupt. But then you get to people like Mike Pence, and you know corrupt doesn't apply so much as just generally confused and misguided, or maybe morally constipated? Then you come to folks like Steve Schmidt, and Michael Steele, and even Liz Cheney, and you pull back from such broad judgments, recognizing that honest disagreement about policy is, you know, a thing, and in spite of our currently extremely polarized climate, identifying as a conservative doesn't automatically make a person dishonorable. At the end, you can't be so intellectually lazy, you have to show a little discernment. Also, using the word woke out of context, as the right is wont to do, shows a stupefying lack of self-awareness. The far right thinks that when they use this word, they are conjuring character traits they long to apply to the left, such as being entitled. But I ask you, what could be more entitled than a minority party that attained what power they have through the gerrymandering of voting districts and the stealing of seats on the Supreme Court, and then this ill-gotten minority proceeds to use their razor-thin bit of access to power to do things like, I don't know, take away the right to bodily autonomy for half the country's population? Yeah, the right is really just projecting in this case. At worst, using the word woke out of its proper context is a purposeful attempt to cheapen the need for people of color and others of good conscience to stay alert to injustice and is a dog whistle to the far right. Lastly, what is also inherent in the right's misuse of the word woke is their fear. The left is not discredited. On the contrary, we are on the rise. Watch what we do at the ballot box. Women who will not stand still for the loss of reproductive rights, mothers and fathers who are sick of their children being victims of school shootings, young people who are terrified for the future of this planet, my 90-year-old neighbor, a lifelong Republican who is so sick to the back teeth of the corruption of the contemporary right-wing leadership, he has been voting a straight Democratic Party ticket for three straight elections now. Look, if that's the best you can do, and it makes you on the right feel better, I guess go ahead and call us woke. I mean, it shows your ignorance, but in fairness, we are most of us highly alert to the ballot box battles ahead. We are really, really, truly no longer asleep. But also, be so kind as not to lump Meghan Markle in with our group. She is most assuredly entitled, and her belief in her moral superiority is breathtaking, and all those other sorts of things you want to apply with a broad stroke to us lefties. But she is all of those things because of who she is, not because of her politics. 
Indeed, being a liberal means taking on the fight for equality. It is an alliance with the least entitled. It is the courtesy and the curiosity to listen and understand and learn from the experience and advice of people from all walks of life. It is the desire to find solutions to our common problems that benefit the whole of society and not only the already rich and the already powerful. Like any oligarch or aspiring oligarch or any other mere narcissist, Meghan Markle is interested only in her own story, only in what might benefit her. She is not one of us. If you like what we're doing at The Authentic, consider giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and ringing the bell so you'll be notified when a new video makes its debut. And you who are leaving comments, thank you. It is so delightful to be part of this community. Thank you for watching.